Constance, how are you doing? We saw each other about a couple months ago for Did With you? Love at the premiere. Oh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> it's great to see you again. Yes. Now for Undone, we're here at WonderCon. What does it feel like to be here in front of all the fans? You know, what's interesting is I've actually never been to a con before. I did South by Southwest for um, this show. It's just so great to be on a show that opens me up to a new genre. And I would say WonderCon is WonderCon wonderful. How's that? That's perfect. Yeah. And uh, to talk about the show, like how has it been working with Amazon? This is your, I believe your second show yes. with Amazon. And Prime Video. What has it been like to work with them and to be as an actor to be a part of that? I have to say, I am, you know, I've been an actor for 30 plus years, and it's really, really, I feel so blessed to be on Amazon because not only do I get my packages really quickly, but um, they have representation that I don't see on the networks, and I'm just so glad that they are a platform for us. I mean, if you look at Undone, you've got three Latinas leading a, a series. And yes, we have Bob Odenkirk, and he counts, but um, you, we don't have that on network TV, and Amazon is supporting that, and with love, same thing. We have ethnic diversity, we have gender diversity, we have so much, and Latinx. I mean, it's just, I'm very proud of them. So thank you. <laughs> So season two, what would you, what do you want the fans to take from season two? Um, I think my favorite thing about Undone is that it explores why people are the way they are, the, the choices that were made in the past, the things that happened to them in the past. And I think there's a great, um, I think it's Socrates, a quote by Socrates is like, be kind because you don't know the personal battle the person is dealing with. And it's the same thing with Undone. You may judge some of these characters, but we're going to go backwards and figure out why they are the way they are. And then once you know that, it completely changes your paradigm and you have more compassion for them because it is all the human experience. And I judged my character in the very beginning, season one, because she was such a harsh mom. But then you realize why she is the way she is and why she acts that way. And so I, even I have more compassion for my character. Yeah. And that's the one thing I love about the show is the exploration of the generational trauma. I mean, I've seen it in my family with my grand, my dad's mom, and I see where it comes to now. And it's really, you don't see that on television that much, especially when it comes to Latino programming. How important is it? I think... Especially Latino, Native American, Indigenous, the generational trauma is huge. And it's never explored, and not even anywhere. And so finally, when we get an opportunity to have programming that reflects us, instead of doing a cliche representation, it literally explores all that we've been through and the survivor status that we actually have that most people don't even know. I mean, the fact that we're in Los Angeles uh, and then and we've been conquered and we're still here working and representing, it's just a little bit of our history is really, really important, but exploring it in a way that doesn't stuff us into a little cliche box. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I'm always grateful for you to talk to with, uh, with us, which has been five times already that we've had you over the years. Yeah. <laughs> but the one thing I do want to talk about, a little fun that's not about undone, okay. is with love. We loved the series so much. Everybody on staff loved it. Is there a continuation to it? Because I haven't talked to anybody in the cast. You're the first right. one I've talked to since this right. release. Anything? Have you heard anything? Um, I can neither confirm nor <laughs> deny anything, but I, I do have to say that it is a beloved show, and Amazon is very supportive of it. And um, we don't officially know yet, but if we do there is such a s empty space for us that we, only we fill you know we don't have any latinx rom-com we don't have in a, a gender inclusive rom-com and, and, and multi-generational and you add it all so i i universe a season two would be awesome i'm hoping for it too thank you so much yeah, for stopping with us again nice to see you nice again see you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for all this to come here at WonderCon 2022. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.